Hey guys, so I'm having my JBL Clip 4 and today we want to take a look inside of this portable Bluetooth speaker. So we're going to show you how to open it up and then we're going to have a look at all the components that we find inside of this. Okay, so now let's get started. So of course first we have to take the cover off and we're doing that by prying off the front cover first. So we can't open up the back cover at this point. We have to start with the front cover. You see I'm going to wedge my screwdriver in between the cover and the rest of the speaker and eventually you'll be able to pop this off. So the cover is glued on on a couple of spots here. You see these little pins here. There's two pins on the bottom. See these two and then two in the center where one pin actually broke off for me here in the center, the left one, and then two more pins on the top and those are uh, secured with some glue. You can still see some of that glue residue here where I'm pointing at with my screwdriver. And there's the little pin that broke off. And then here there's two more on the bottom. Okay, so then of course we already see here the driver, 40 millimeter driver. And now here underneath the grill we find five screws, five Phillips screws that we can uh, remove next. And as soon as we've done that, now we can really easily remove the back cover here. So the back cover is secured by a couple of screws, as you saw. And now we have to be careful a little bit because there's a lot of cables going from the front to the back cover. So you see a couple of those already. And then on the in the back cover, that's where we have the motherboard. You see here all kinds of connectors. We're going to unplug those cables now. So one goes to the driver, then another one to the charging port and then one to the buttons that are in the front. So the play pause button and then volume up and down. So we can really easily unplug those. So there's no glue on there to uh, prevent them from coming out. So we can really easily take those off. And then here, the last one is then here, the one to the driver. And then there's another set of wires that go to the battery and there's also conveniently a plug here on the motherboard so we can really easily remove the battery at this point so this will be really easy to do when it's time to replace it. You can see here I can really just simply tilt this out a little bit and then it comes loose. Now let's have a close look at the battery here. 3.7 volts, 1050 milliamp hours and then here on the top, in case you want to order a replacement, then you see here the model number it starts with GSP. So if you Google that, then you will probably easily find a replacement when you have to look for one. But now let's have a look at the front portion of the housing. So at the top, we have another small daughter board here that's uh, responsible for the buttons. So the uh, play pause button, volume up and down. So there's going to be a couple of switches on there. That's probably it. Then we have here the driver or the transducer, 40 millimeter. And then on the bottom here, we have the USB type C charging port. This is waterproof. So uh, there's probably some kind of seal wedged in between the housing and the port. And then the port itself itself is waterproof, of course. And that's, this is also mounted on a small daughter board. Okay, so then here we have the motherboard. And that's secured in the back side of the housing. It's held in position with four more screws here, four smaller Phillips screws. And then let's have a look at the back side of the housing here. So there we find the passive radiator. I was already wondering where it is. So it's in the back side of the speaker. See here we have also this little grill. And then on the left side, we see those little rubber pieces. That's where the uh, on off button and the Bluetooth button are located. So when you press those from outside and those are going to be pushed in and they're actuating then the switches on the motherboard. And then what we see here in white or in gray, that's the seal that makes the speaker water and dust proof. Okay, so now let's have a close look at the motherboard. It's not a whole lot going on, especially on the back side. Some people are asking for like a detailed view on the PCB, so I'm going to slowly go over this here. I'm not going to do much comment here, I'm just going to scroll through the entire board so that you can really see what's going on on it, so in case you are interested.
Now on the top we have the status LED and I just connected the battery and now I'm pushing the on off button and we see here how it turns on. See now it is connected to my smartphone right now so that's why it's constantly white and then when I plug in the charging cable it should switch to red, constant red. Okay yeah so this this is how the LED toggles and looks like right, white for when the speaker is turned on and red for charging. Okay, so this was already it here for the teardown video of the JBL Clip 4 portable Bluetooth speaker. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you have any more questions or comments then leave a message below.